Hello, first grade. Today we are going to be working with chapter eight, lesson three. So I need you to make sure that you have a pencil with you. You're also going to need about eight pennies. So if you can find eight pennies or even eight of something else in your house, it might be maybe you use another coin or maybe you use Starburst or maybe you use blocks that you have, something else that you can use to measure today. But just know that if you're using something other than pennies, your answers are probably going to be a little bit different than mine. So try to find eight pennies. Or even if you just have one penny and you use that penny over and over again, that's okay too. So just get that ready. Plus, you're going to need your math book and you're going to need to be turned to page 575. That's 575. So I'm going to give you some time, pause the video, get all of that ready to go, and then unpause when you are ready to get started for today. Okay, so let's see. Today we are going to be measuring things, but instead of just comparing their lengths, we're actually going to be measuring using something called non-standard units of length. So before, when you think of measuring, you might have think, oh, well, I measure things with a ruler. And you know what, first grade, you are absolutely right. We can measure things with a ruler, but in first grade, that's not how we do it. We actually measure with other objects. So if we were in class, we'd be using our connecting cubes to measure. But since we're all at home and we don't have those with us, we're going to use something that most of us do have at home, pennies. So what I need you to do is get your pennies. And what we're going to do is we are going to measure different objects using pennies and see about how many pennies long is this object. So we're going to start with this highlighter up here. Okay, that's what this is. It's a green highlighter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my pennies and I'm going to put it all the way to the tip of that highlighter. And I'm going to leave it there. And I'm going to take another one of my pennies and I'm going to stick it right next to it. And I'm going to take another one of my pennies and stick that right next to it. And I take another one of my pennies. Now, again, my pennies might not be the exact same size as yours, just because I drew mine instead of having actual pennies with me. But mine is about four pennies long. So what we're going to do is we are going to write the number four on this line underneath. And do you see this word? It says about. That means this is not an exact measurement. This is just telling us about how many is it. Because sometimes we need to do what we call estimate. And that tells us about how many something is going to be. Okay, so once you've written your four, I'm going to move my pennies back off of my object. You should do the same because you're going to use those pennies again. Now we're going to measure to see about how long this paint is. So we're going to start again. Remember, your penny goes all the way right to the end of your paint. So one, two, three, four, and it's okay if it goes off a little bit. Again, we're just doing an about. So I see that this is about four pennies long. I'm gonna write my, my four there. Then I'm gonna clear off my pennies. We're gonna do another one together, and then I'm gonna have you do a few on your own and see how you're doing. So let's see the highlighter cap. Let's see about how many pennies that is. So once again, we're going to start with our first penny. We're going to put it all the way at the end. I'm going to put another one right next to it. So about how many pennies is my highlighter cap? Well, it's about two. So I'm going to write a two on that line. All right, first grade, what I want you to do is I want you to measure these other three objects. So we have a paintbrush, an eraser, and a pencil. I want you to pause the video, measure them with your pennies lined up just like we've been doing, and write your answer on the line about how many pennies do you think it is. Go ahead and do that and unpause when you have your answers read. Okay, so now you should have written your answers for the paintbrush, the eraser, and the pencil. So let's see how you did. I'm going to measure mine. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. So our paintbrush is about five pennies long. 
Okay, let's see about the eraser. Ready? One, two, we can probably fit three on there, even though it hangs off a little bit. So I'm going to say that my eraser is about three pennies long. All right, one more. How are you doing so far? Do yours match mine? Let's see the last one. One, two, three, four, five. So I see, I can't see my answer space. I have to move them again. So I see that this pencil is about five pennies long. So I'm gonna write a five on that line. Make sure that your answers match mine or if you're using something different, your answers might not match, but make sure when you're lining up your pennies or your object that they're right next to each other and in a straight line on your object, going from start to finish. All right, we are going to turn to our guided practice page, so turn your page over. All right, let's see, we're gonna use our pennies again. We're gonna measure to see about how long this horse is. So use your pennies. We're gonna start on the line. So one, two, three. So this horse is about three pennies long. We're using pennies because pennies are the closest to the size and shape of these blocks. So our answers are going to match the books. Now let's see about how long the sheep is. So ready? We're going to start with on right on that line. It goes to the end of the object. So one, two. All right. So the sheep is about two pennies long. All right. I want you to try numbers one, two, and three all by yourself using your pennies. Line them up in a straight line, see about how many it is, and then write your answer on the line. Pause the video. When you have all three of your answers written, I want you to unpause so we can check together. Okay, so now you should have written your answers for one, two, and three. Let's see how you did. For number one, I have one, two, three. Four, five, I'm gonna go with six, because mine are a little overlapped. So six, oops. So about six pennies, is that what you got too? If you got maybe five, or even if you got maybe seven, that's okay, because remember, we're just doing about how many it is. Okay, let's see how many for the yellow one. One, two, three, four. So I have about four for number two. And then let's see for number five, three. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Oh, I'm gonna borrow one from up here. Seven. So number three is about seven pennies. All right. I'm gonna clear all my pennies off my board. You should do the same. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn to the problem solving page together. So when you're ready, you can turn to that problem solving page. As soon as I'm done clearing mine off, I will do that too. All right. Here we go. So number nine says about how many cubes we're going to use pennies long is the pencil. Circle the correct answer. So let's see about how many. One, I'm going to start you, but I want you to finish it, and I want you to circle how many you think it is. Do that, and then we can check to see how you did. I 
All right, let's see how you did. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So about how many cubes is it? Well, it's about five cubes. So I'm going to circle. Whoa. I'm going to circle five cubes. All right, first grade. Let's turn back to our independent practice. So you are going to use your pennies or whatever object you've been using. And you are going to do numbers four, five, six, and seven, just like we've been doing them. Use your pennies, line them up, write your answer on the line. For number eight, what you're going to do is you're going to find an object in your house, something that is about four pennies long. And I want you to write that on the line then, okay? Once you're done with that, then you are done with math today and you did a fabulous job. Thank you so much and I will see you tomorrow.